Many of us who have come here are interested in development. And one of the fastest ways that you would learn how to develop, learn these, or get familiarized with these technologies is uh, to do code reviews. Uh, different people uh, work on different tickets. I think we went through uh, where the OpenMRS tickets are, are hosted and that's Jira. So you can go there and uh, look for tickets that have uh, code review, uh, uh, code review, and then you can go there and review someone's code, identify the bugs that are existent, um, take your time as you review, try to understand what the person has, uh, what the person is trying to solve, what bug are they trying to clear. And uh, of course, uh, we also have um, a code review, a procedure of uh, how to go through code. And I think you can see it here, but whenever you get time, uh, you can go through uh, this, uh, this uh, wiki page to get more information of how to do uh, code reviews in OpenMRS. It helps you learn faster. Uh, as you have learned how to develop the, uh, as you have learned how to develop with O3, uh, it also makes a difference if you look at uh, existing uh, code that has been uh, pushed in different repos, uh, what people are trying to solve. Uh, it helps you understand how the code runs or how uh, uh, the different technologies you have learned in this place work together to put up all three. So the goals of code reviews is to find bugs, uh, uh, to identify, OpenMRS has uh, coding styles and even all three, I think it's, uh, that's the reason why they use TypeScript. So we, we have coding styles. So in reviewing, you also verify that the people or the people who have pushed this code have followed the coding style of all three, uh, improving coding quality, uh, teaching best uh, uh, practices, code consistency, learning code, uh, like I've highlighted, and of course, efficiency. Um, then tips, uh, like you see down there, you need to take your time. Take your time as you do code review. As, pro as programmers, we tend not to like <laughs> reading. But uh, take your time to read someone's code and uh, try to identify if there is any bug, if there is something that is inconsistent, it actually works for the best uh, for the OpenMRS uh, community. Yeah, so I'll start out by saying that we have this contributing guide as well for, for the O3 frontend. Um, there's some guidelines here that generally work best if you follow them. Uh, some of the things that are important out of the box are that, for example, when it comes to pull requests, we have a pull request template. It's advisable that you follow this pull request template because uh, if you look at uh, these PR titles, you'll see that there's something specific about these PR titles, that they have uh, something called a conventional commit label at the front. And this is not just stylistic. It actually helps out when it comes to uh, cutting releases and preparing change logs for those releases. So if you go into our change log here, you'll see that everything that's listed on here is drawn um, from your PR title. So it's really important that you follow that. It makes it easier for your reviewer. You can see that all the fixes get grabbed out here. Features go into here, tests go into here, chores go into here. So yeah, it's, they're there for a reason, they're not, we don't have these PR, these PR templates to frustrate contributors. They're there to help uh, make your PR easier to review. Uh, so general guidelines uh, when it comes to drafting a pull request. Uh, here, your PR title should indicate the type of change you're making, should be straightforward. Uh, fill out the template. Push additional commits. Uh, commit, commits get squashed on merge, so don't be worried about uh, adding as many commits as possible. Uh, it's your responsibility to make sure that your changes do the, the, what they're expected to do. So please run your, your, your changes locally before filing a pull request. <clears throat> Over communicate. Yes, it is encouraged to communicate as much as possible in your PR summary so that you can translate the knowledge that you have, um, the domain knowledge you've had from working on something 
to your reviewer and make it as easy as possible for your reviewer to understand uh, what you're trying to do. So images, videos, screenshots, th those help a fair bit. So include them liberally. Uh, and then maybe just a final thing for me is that we have a coding conventions guide. And this is something that's meant to govern how you name things, how you structure things, what you do in your components, how you fetch data, how to handle internationalization and various other things, including testing. So yeah, please read through this. Um, this will make your work more enjoyable. It will make your PR more likely to get merged quickly. So yeah, these are tools that are only going to make you a better developer. So please look through them when you get the chance. Thanks.